Glory to God. Yeah. I like to start everything off giving honor to God. Uh, to my bishop, Gervis Lacey Jr., to the judge, to Andrea Womack and the whole entire family. I wrote a statement out. My niece, Asia. I used to take her to church with me. The actions, the actions of Cameron Hodge, how he killed my niece, how you killed her in a cold blood, in a devastating way, has infected my family, my entire family, especially my son, Larry Smith. We haven't been the same since since October the 3rd, when her life was taken. You took our heart, our joy, our love. You took a part of, a part of us that can never be replaced. Not a day go by that we don't think about her. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad that we would never get to talk to her or see her anymore. Asia Womack life is worth more than 20 years. Only God can give life and only God can take life. I want to know why did you kill her? You had time to think before you react. You went all the way home. Why you come back? Why? You had time to think about what you was doing. I forgive you, what you did, but I know you was being controlled by an evil spirit. So you have, chance, you have a chance to repent to God and ask God to forgive you and give your soul to him. That's something I hope you would do. Age of birthday is coming up on February the 15th. I wish she was here so we can celebrate her, love on her. How? Can you do a friend the way you did her? She's supposed to be your friend. I'm Tawana Davis, and I want to thank y'all for allowing my family to speak during this time. Cameron, I want to say to you, it is so hard sitting here facing you. You just don't know the pain that you caused my family. I'm going to keep it respectful because you know what I want to say. I'm going to keep it very respectful. Out of respect for everybody, I'm going to keep it professional, but how could you call my cousin your friend and you do it like that? That wasn't just my cousin, it was my sister. And you wrong, you know you wrong. You're going to have to deal with the man upstairs about it. You know, you could have came to one of us. You could have went and got somebody, you know, a, a female, but you just, you went out. You went out bad, but I'm gonna hold my words that I'm gonna say, but you let the state make an example out of you. You let the state make an example out of you. And I'm sitting here looking at you, staring you in your eyes. I'm looking at your soul, you cold, you don't care. And for y'all to sit there and do that podcast yesterday and tell me my family, it's okay because, you know, we are gonna be okay. I, like she said, our life haven't been the same. You know, we just went, went through this with my mother. My mama was killed by a man. And, and I just, I, don't, I just want to know why. Why didn't you come get somebody? We grew up together. Why you didn't come tell somebody and you got nothing to say? You just sitting there just looking at me crazy. But you better get your soul together, get yourself together and repent. And ask God for forgiveness because he forgive, but I don't. I'm sorry. I'm Asia's uncle. I don't have a lot to say, but what I am gonna say, I really mean. 
Cameron, you was wrong for what you did. And it makes me angry because you took my niece's life when you didn't have to. You didn't have to do that. You done been to my house. You called me unk, I call you nephew. We hurt, man, we can't get Asia back. You got 20 years, but we'll never see Asia again. We broken, we broken be for that, from that, man. There's no, there's nothing that we can do to bring her back. I want you to know that you was wrong. However it played out, you was wrong. You didn't have to take it that far, is what I'm saying. Didn't have to go that far. But at the end of the day, God is the judge of all. So I hope that during the time that you spend, that you find a relationship with him. Because there's something after this life. It's either up or down, heaven or hell. And I hope that you find the right path to be on because murder, killing somebody, it's not right. It's not right. And I want you to know that. And I wanted to look in your face and tell you that. And that's all I had to say. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to pick my words carefully because I really don't have a filter. But I'm just trying to figure out, like, why did you think it was okay to kill my sister? That was my blood sister. That was not your sister. So I don't know why you feel like if you could call her your sister, you could take her life. Like, over some words. I mean, it's not nobody fault you a faggot. Like, that's just what it is. I don't understand why you thought taking her life was going to change that. I don't understand why you think you getting 20 years is okay. Because to me, that's not okay at all. Because my sister was 21 years old and her life was worth way more than that. What you got to say? Why did you do it? Why did you do it? Why did you kill her? Why? Say something. You're a monster. You have no compassion. You don't even have a heart. And you think something sweet? You are not forgiving, and I'm getting my lick back, period. You caused my mama too much suffering and pain. I got to deal with this shit on a day-to-day -day basis. It's hard for me to get up. So you're not going to say nothing? I'm done. I'll miss this opportunity. Um, my name is Brandy. I have uh, quite a few words to say. I have a, quite a few words to say to Cameron. Cameron, I must let you know that you have taken someone from us who was very special. She was our niece, our daughter, our cousin, and our friend. For some, she was an inspiration. For others, a comfort. For some, she was a light in a dark place. And to others, a listening ear. But never was she ever at any time a stranger to anyone. If anybody was in need, whether she knew them or not, Asia would make it her business to meet it. But you already know this, because she didn't change just because she met you. Her only mistake in this was not knowing where to draw the line when it came to who deserved her love. That was Asia's only mistake in it. I thought about all the things that could be said, and I could stand here and tell you about how I feel, about what you've done, and about what so many already think of you. But to do that would be against the character of Asia. So instead, I want to do what Asia would desire for us all to do, and that would be to forgive you and let go, let you go, so that we can move on. That's the only way we can move on. Psalms 34 and 18 says this, Cameron. The Lord is near to those 
who are brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. We crushed in our spirits and our heart is broken. So you see, God is definitely with us right now. And I can find some consolation in the fact that God is with us right now because in and of ourselves, I don't know how we would do it, but God is with us right now. So we don't have no worries. But you, Cameron, on the other hand, have not considered your own. I feel sorry for you because when you aimed that gun and pulled the trigger, you shot to kill. But what you didn't realize is that you were pulling a bullet, putting a bullet into the heart of all that love you and everybody that love her as well. You have abandoned family, friends, brother, a woman, and most of our children who need you to support, protect, love, teach, and guide them through life. You have left them open to predators and other violent men like yourself. You have left them to learn life's lessons on their own. You have robbed them of the moments they would need in life for you to hold them to wipe tears from their eyes and tell them everything will be okay. Someone else will give them over to in marriage because you won't be able to be there to do it. And that is the greatest demise. You say you feel sorry for us, but the reality is we pity you because what you have done cannot be undone. But we as God's very own will be comforted. We will learn to live with what God has allowed through his strength. And because we understand the ways of God and we understand that they are a mystery, we won't look to you, the justice system, nor anyone else to give us what you all did not make. And that is peace. But you, Cameron, my prayers for you is that you know that if Asia was standing here right now, if she was standing here today, in spite of you telling yourself to, what you want to tell yourself to feel better about what you've done, Asia's very words would not be slander. They wouldn't be hate. They wouldn't be revenge. But if Asia was standing here right now, she'll just say forgiven. And to you, Cameron Hall, I say myself, and my whole family. It's overwhelming, but we'll learn to overcome. But in the moment, we forgive you. Here I sit today with tears in my eyes and broken hearted. It is because of you that my whole life has changed completely. On October the 3rd, Asia got in the car with you as a friend to go play basketball. She texted me two hours before you killed her and said, Mom, Larry's gonna pick me up so I can go to work tomorrow. She was starting a new job. Two hours later, I got a call that Asia had been shot. She got in the car with you, Cameron, as a friend to play basketball. That was her last game of basketball. Not knowing that you would kill her because of the words that were spoken of you being a gay man after a basketball game because you wasn't man enough to suck those words up. And then you have the audacity to sit with a smirk on your face as if it was okay for you to play like she pulled a gun on you. That's not an Asia's character. And you being a man that abused women, anyway, if she had had a gun, she should have used it. Because you didn't have no problem using yours. 
You went past her. You drove past her. And then you and your brother, which is another coward, drove up on her, got out of the car. Not only did you shoot her two times, but to make sure she died, you shot her two more times. She took your phone calls from jail as a friend. She ran with you as a friend. With friends like you, we don't need enemies. You have shown no remorse, no compassion, and you think it's a good thing that you got 20 years. Well, 20 years is not long enough. No time is long enough for the life of my child. She was only 20 years old. You get to come back, maybe, and see your kids. Maybe. maybe. But you must know you have to reap what you sow. So you, too, will feel the same pain one day. And then you had an audacity to make up a lie and try to say self-defense. It was premeditated is what it was because you had plenty of time to think about what you were going to do. And you made up in your mind that you were going to kill her. And your brother went with you to make sure that it all played out like y'all planned. And you can say whatever you want to make yourself feel better, but your soul will be tormented every day of your life. And 20 years is a slap in my face because my child's life is worth way more than 20 years. You are a habitual criminal. You just got out of jail. And then they give you a slap on your wrist with 20 years for a 20 year old young lady life. That's, she's still full of life. She was still full of life. A friend. You have torn my soul out of me. Twenty years. The justice failed me. They slapped me in my face and they spanked you on your wrist. I want you to go to trial by jury. And if you felt like you could win on self-defense, why didn't you go? Because I wanted the jury to hear your story and decide your fate. And I'm sure it would have been more than 20 years. No time will heal my pain. And I wish these was the day we could do eye for eye life for life. I just want to sit here for a minute and look at you with this smirk on your face, with this arrogant attitude. I can't sleep at night. Asia called my phone every morning. 
I'm sad when I get up, and I'm sad when I go to bed. Some days I don't want to get out of bed. Some days I can't even eat. And you think 20 years was okay. Your soul is required in hell. And I brought a picture just to show you the happiness and joy in ages. You also shot me in my heart. 